friends let us study a study a elimination reaction happening in alkyl halide so when an alkyl halide is made to uh, react with alcoholic potassium hydroxide potassium hydroxide is also called as potash alcoholic potash or alcoholic potassium hydroxide solution uh, what will happen is removal of hydrogen from one carbon and halogen from another carbon takes place results in the formation of alkene so the removal of hydrogen and halogen is called as dehydrohalogenation ded stands for detach or remove remove hydrogen and halogen and that is why it is called as dehydrohalogenation and it is also called as beta elimination because hydrogen from the beta carbon will be eliminated what is this beta carbon let us see by taking a simple example the example which is taken here is ethyl bromide in this ethyl bromide the carbon which possesses halogen is called as alpha carbon it is a way of numbering the carbon carbon next to the alpha is beta next to that will be gamma etc etc alpha beta gamma delta it continues when it is heated the what will happen and how this material react with potassium hydroxide let us see this now the changes which will happen due to the presence of most electronegative element that is bromine present in this carb alkyl halide is this br is more electronegative than carbon as a result this br draws pulls electrons from this carbon when it pulls electrons from alpha carbon alpha carbon loses electron when it loses electron it again gains or pulls electron from the next carbon that is beta carbon this alpha carbon lost electron to the br and this alpha gains electron from the br beta carbon and thus this beta carbon loses electron and then this beta carbon does not keep quiet like what it has happened with this this also that is in the alpha carbon draws or withdrawn electron from the uh, carbon beta carbon or rather it pulls the pulled electron from beta carbon this beta carbon in turn pulls electrons from the hydrogens connected to the beta carbon this hydrogen which possesses only one electron on it will loses electrons to this beta carbon as a result this hydrogen loses its electron it has only one electron that is drifted or moved towards the beta carbon as a result this hydrogen become h plus h plus h plus h plus hence these are called as acidic hydrogen so there is h plus ion in the reaction mixture oh minus ion from the alcoholic oh so h plus when it comes in contact to oh minus it immediately combines to give water so when it h plus combines with oh gives water what will happen here between this carbon among uh, these hydrogens one of it will go with it let us see that this is gone when it goes these two electrons which were there which were drifted towards carbon that is beta carbon simply migrate to alpha and beta carbon this electrons the two electrons will migrate to that thus there will be a double bond between alpha carbon and beta carbon and immediately this br will be removed as br minus that br minus combines with k plus to give kbr this is how kbr that is elimination of halogen from the alpha carbon from the beta carbon hydrogen takes place this h plus goes out as water br goes to as out as kbr and thus this reaction is called as dehydrohalogenation reaction since there is elimination of hydrogen from beta carbon this is called as beta elimination reaction hydrogen atom present in the at the beta position of all alkanes will be removed right now let us take another example of uh, el beta elimination reaction now here this is 1 2 3 4 butane in this br is there on the second carbon this is 2 bromo butane in this case let us see how the reaction proceeds when it is heated with alcoholic oh now here this is alpha carbon the carb carbon possesses br is alpha carbon so this is connected to one carbon on the left hand side another carbon on the right hand side both the carbons are called as beta this is beta this is beta gamma like that it is so as a result of two beta carbon connected to alpha carbon these hydrogens which are there on either side will become acidic this is also acidic and this will also 
a stick then which hydrogen goes out is it from the first carbon or third carbon in fact it is from the both first and third carbon one h plus will goes with the oh minus to give water now let us see the first option first option is from the first carbon that is beta carbon this carbon one is the beta carbon from this one hydrogen goes out with oh minus to give water once it goes out this bond will migrate between carbon 1 and carbon 2 resulted in 1 2 3 4 butene 1 or 1 butene so this is 1 butene which formed due to the elimination of hydrogen from this beta carbon that this is one compound if at all the second one yes the two also happen the third carbon that is second beta carbon which is present here has two hydrogen this combines with OH minus then it results in the formation of double bond between second and third carbon one of the hydrogen say this goes with OH minus then these two electrons electron present on the beta carbon of third carbon and um, will migrate once it migrates there will be a double bond between third and second carbon results in the formation of double bond between carbon 2 and carbon 3 so here it is double bond is between carbon 1 and carbon 2 whereas here it is carbon 2 and carbon 3 now among these which one will form let us see that so here to explain this the rule which has been proposed by uh, the gentleman called uh, uh, Sedzov Sedzov what he says, says right now here this CC double bond is connected to only one alkyl group this CC double bond is connected to only one alkyl group second carbon is connected to ethyl group whereas in the second example CC double bond on the third carbon there is one alkyl group on the second there is one alkyl group since it is resulted this reaction resulted in alkene that is unsaturated compound that has to be stabilized so if the formed product is more stable more will be the ease of formation the e greater ease will be will depend upon stability of the product more the product stability more will be the yield right so here the second case the butene 2 is more stable the reason is cc double bond is connected to two alkyl groups one methyl here on the right hand side another one is on the left hand side these two methyl groups stabilizes the carbon carbon double bond so because of this stability this is as comes from the contribution from the two methyl group this is more stable whereas here it is a stability comes from only one ethyl group so here stability is by only one alkyl alkyl group whereas it is by the two alkyl group hence this two butene is more stabler than one butene so as a consequence we will be getting two butene as the major product one butene as the minor product this law was proposed by uh, Sedgeoff hence it is called just Sedgeoff rule what it says is whenever there is a formation of alkene then the most substituted product would be formed and most preferred